there's another way that you can find out and that's using an app on your phone and I'll pull up the app and I'll show it to you real quick. Hey YouTube friends, welcome to Arcade Treasure Center. My name is Roy. Well, I'm literally almost burning the midnight oil. It's uh, almost 1130 at night. I've been working off and on throughout the day, been doing some other things. Had about six sales for the day that I'm going to go ahead and package instead of wait till the morning. So I'm going to go ahead and get them out and I'll show you what I sold. I've been working on a lot of different projects. I move stuff around in the eBay room, put this rack over here, move stuff from over there, trying to make it, I guess, a little bit more organized, if you want to call it that. I don't know. But uh, I've also been working. If you saw my last video, I picked up two boxes of items from Anthony over at Froggy Flips. And I've been working on the remote controls. He had a whole box of remote controls I bought from him. And in fact, there's some of the remote controls right down here. And these are the ones I've already cleaned up and listed. Plus, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't find one of them somewhere in here because it's sold. There it is. This one right here. All right. This is a Samsung remote control. So I'm pretty sure this remote control sold to a drop shipper. And I don't mind. You know, I've sold to drop shippers before. And you can always tell a drop shipper when you get one. They left me a note and I'll read it to you and tell you why I believe it was a drop shipper. Uh, this remote control sold for $14.99 free shipping. So good sale on that. Um, especially when I bought all those remote controls for $10 for the box. So here's what the note says. It says, please do not include an invoice, purchase paper or packing slips of any kind. This is also a gift, so please do not use any eBay branded material or eBay tape if possible. Thank you and have a great day. And I've sold to drop shippers before, and even though he said it was a gift or she said it was a gift, you can pretty much bet they don't want it any kind of invoice or packing slip. They don't want any marking of any kind of me being the one that sold it, and they don't want the eBay tape that I do have because I do use eBay tape sometimes when I wrap packages. So that way I can tell that they're probably a drop shipper. And that's like I said, and that's okay. All right, so let's go get that next item. All right, so this item that sold is in here and it's right here on the front. I just lifted it a couple days ago, so it went right in the front. All right, what this is, is a, it's called a zoom suspension seat post. Um, it's wrapped up in plastic right there, but this is like a shock absorber. This is a seat post for a bicycle and you mount the bicycle right here, the bicycle seat right here. And it's great for mountain bikes, trail bikes, or just hard riding. This will fit pretty much any diameter seat post that there is out there. It's adjustable. And this sold for, what did it sell for? Didn't put it down on the paper. Guess I'm a little bit tired tonight. This sold for $11.69 and the buyer paid the shipping. And another item that I sold is going to be back over in here. And it's right there on the shelf. So I'll grab them real quick. This was a really, really good sale. These are a pair of Bellevue uh, military type boots. Well, I guess they are military boots. Got good tread, good sole. Barely, I mean, they are just almost still new looking. So it was a really good sale. I list them. These are size 10. I list them and they sold for $53.99 plus the buyer paid the shipping. So that was a really good sale. That was a really good find, a really good sale to have. So the next sale is a viewer sale and the viewer is Barbara. And Barbara, thank you so much for the purchase. Barbara bought an RK Treasure Center coffee mug. Thank you so much for the support, Barbara. I hope you enjoy this coffee mug and I hope it brings you a lot of good luck. And she also purchased a Kahlua shot glass, Kahlua brand shot glass. And I've heard of Kahlua and coffee. So Barbara, you're gonna have Kahlua and coffee? Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoy this too. So thank you so much, Barbara, for the purchase and the support. It really means a lot. All right, I went ahead and pulled the last item. The last item's inside this box. So what's in this box is something I told you about two, three videos ago. I went to a thrift shop and I found several RC cars they were missing the remote controls. 
didn't even have the batteries with them, the battery packs. And I explained that you can strip down an RC car that's useless because it doesn't have the remote control or the battery pack. And you can sell the tires, the bumpers, the frame, the shocks, and sometimes the chassis. Well, I went ahead and did that. And you can see in this picture right here, I sold the four tires for $18.99. And I bought two of the RC cars for $0.99 cents and one of them for $1.99. If you just find those old RC cars and strip down the parts, they'll sell. The tires especially will always sell. I generally can make it a minimum of $10 off of off of the set of four tires. So every time I, I come across an old RC car that's practically useless because it doesn't have the remote control, I buy it because generally you're going to find it for a dollar or two at the most. So keep that in mind. And also it's almost midnight right now. I think I'm done for the day, but the video is not over. So it's I'm done for not tonight. But stay, stay tuned and I'll catch you in a second. Wait, hold the presses. I sold one more item real quick. Now the air conditioner is running, so you're going to hear it. So I'm going to try to find it. It's down in here. It's right here. All right, so let's get away from the air conditioning so you can hear me. All right, so I sold this. This is an Arctic Cove water sprayer mister. Uh, not mister as in, hey mister, how you doing? But water sprayer mister as in cool, refreshing spray mist on me. Anyway, this sold for... What it sell for twenty-two dollars and thirty-nine cents, and the buyer paid the shipping. And this sold about two minutes ago, so I'm glad it's going out. All right, I just got through wrapping those other items, so now I got to wrap this. So now I will see you tomorrow, today, here in a minute. Hey everyone, it's the next day. I've already had uh, six items sell, and I went ahead and wrapped those and packaged them to get ready to the post office. Uh, I do have three more sales that are pending and they're actually auctions and i know they're going to sell and as soon as i know the auction's over if they pay for the auctions then i'll wrap them up and take everything to the post office but those auctions are for gold necklaces 14 karat gold necklaces and i'll tell you about them here in a minute but first let's go ahead and discuss these items that sold really quickly and then we'll talk about the auctions so out of the six items the first sale was for a fossil purse uh, I'll put pictures up here so you can see them. The fossil purse was something I've had for a little while. And it, I got an offer and I didn't have hardly anything into it. Picked it up at a thrift shop. So I sold it for $14 and the buyer paid the shipping. This next item is a David Cremer shirt. And I'm probably saying that wrong. But it was a shirt I picked up at a thrift shop. Found it. I was on sale. Paid a couple dollars for it. And it sold for $24.99 and the buyer paid the shipping. All right, so calculators will sell depending on what kind of calculators you got. This next calculator I've got is a Canon calculator. In fact, the model number is uh, P23-D. I had it listed, and it's had been listed for a little while, and it sold for $12, and the buyer paid the shipping. The fourth item that sold is a box of billiard chalk. It's called Light Gray by Silver Cup. It sold for $7.99 and the buyer paid the shipping. All right, this hat is a hat that I picked up at a garage sale or thrift shop. I can't remember. I picked up several of them. I want to say probably thrift shop. That's where I pick up a lot of hats, but it could have been a garage sale. It's kind of sitting in my mind that it might have been. And it sold for $9.95 and the buyer paid the shipping. And even though it's not Christmas time, it's the middle of summer. Uh, Christmas items sell all through the year. This was a Marvel ornament this has iron man wolverine and captain america i picked this up at a thrift shop for uh, i think a dollar 99 and it sold for eleven dollars and 53 cents and the buyer paid the shipping so those are the six items that sold so far again those are what's wrapped up and packaged over there so as soon as these other auctions end we'll talk about them so all three auctions ended without a hitch and the buyers paid for them right away. So I went ahead and wrapped them up and that's what's in these three little flat rate priority boxes. So I'm going to get them shipped off with all these other stuff to the post office. So a little bit about those auctions. The first auction was for a gold necklace weighing 1.06 grams. It was 14 karat gold. And really it was sold as scrap or repair because it was missing the little locking clasp that you lock your necklace with it was just the necklace part itself 
So I got $42 for it, and that's about what I expected to get because that was the gold value of 1.06 grams. So no problem, and send it out. The next 14 karat gold necklace that sold weighed 2.15 grams, and it sold for $86. And again, that's about what I expected because that's the gold weight. It was a complete necklace. You could wear it, and it was wearable, or it sold a scrap. A lot of people buy gold jewelry and scrap it and make gold ounces. But I sold this, it sold for $86, and again, that's what I expected to get for the gold value. The third necklace, which was also a 14 karat gold necklace, sold for $115. And that one weighed 2.43 grams. Now, that one actually sold above gold value. And the reason I believe it sold above gold value is because it had a little tiny pendant. I mean, a little itty bitty tiny pendant. And the little tiny pendant had a little tiny diamond. <laughs> had a real little tiny diamond so it was the gold necklace the pendant and the itty bitty diamond so that one actually sold above gold value gold value for 2.43 grams is around 80 something dollars right now i can't tell you exactly but i can tell you in a minute uh, but so that one sold it for 115 dollars and i believe it was because of that little tiny diamond now i have a video that i put out about a month ago that'll tell you all about your gold will tell you how to find the value of your gold what it's worth it'll tell you everything the title of the video is something like all about your gold what pawn shops and jewelry stops shops don't want you to know and like i said I'll, I'll try to link it right here and i'll try to remember to put a link in the description down below if you want to see it or just go back and look about a month and you'll see it it's got a thumbnail of me with a bunch of gold and that's the title of it is what pawn shops and jewelry shops don't want you to know about your gold anyway uh, there's another way that you can find out and that's using an app on your phone and I'll pull up the app and I'll show it to you real quick. All right. So I got the app pulled up and I'll show it to you in a second. But what I want you to know is this app will only tell you the weight and value of gold, silver, and platinum. So if you're selling any kind of jewelry with any kind of gemstones like diamonds, emeralds, rubies, or something with pearls, or maybe some rocks or stones, turquoise, or something like that, it won't add that kind of value it only tells you the weight value to the gold but let's look at the app and i'll show it to you okay so the app is called the dhf calculator dhf calculator and that's the name of the app and you can download it to your phone or your computer um, it shows you gold silver and platinum it also shows you the current troy ounce of gold right now it says one thousand seven hundred and nineteen dollars and eighty five cents is the going rate for a troy ounce for an ounce of gold and all you have to do is there's a little 10 14 18 22 and 24 carat i'm trying to make sure there's no glare on this phone when i'm showing it to you but our necklace was 14 carat okay the weight of that necklace that i sold even with the pendant and diamond weighed 2.43 grams so we're going to put in 2.43 grams we're going to hit estimate value and estimated value is 78 dollars and 38 cents so that was about what i said i said around 80 dollars. so so 78 dollars and 38 cents is the actual weight of the gold but the necklace is complete it had the little pendant and it had the little diamond and because of that the price was up a little bit so you can use this app if you want to but just remember it's just going to tell you the price of your gold and it's called dhf calculator so I sell a lot of gold. Now I don't sell it all the time, but I do sell it. And the way I sell it is by auctions because I know I'm going to get my value out of it. Now I don't sell jewel silver jewelry through auctions uh, because that just doesn't sell that as good. Gold is in demand and it's something that's always going to sell. It's something that people are always wanting. So when it comes to gold jewelry or anything like that, that's gold, I put it on an auction because I'm going to get my money. I've never not gotten my money out of an auction when I put gold jewelry up for sale. Now, whenever I do my gold auctions, like I said, I never do a reserve and I always start my auction, my gold auctions at $1. And also I always do my gold auctions at free shipping. Again, gold is in demand. I am never worried about selling my gold jewelry, gold coins, or anything that's gold that I come across that I'm going to sell. I always put it up for auction starting at $1, no reserve, and free shipping. Why? Because I'm always going to get my money out of it. I'm always going to get my money for the gold value. Now, I could have taken that necklace and listed it up and done pictures and put it on like a little mannequin neck or something like that and listed it and said $200 or best offer. 
but the offers that I'm going to get for gold is going to be about the weight for gold. You're not going to get too much more offers than that. Now, if you have a ring or a necklace or something that's gold, maybe it's antique and you have history behind it or that you can prove, or it's got a bunch of diamonds in it and you've had it authenticated and certified with the weight of the diamonds and you can show that authentication and it's a certified authentication with that jewelry then you may get more prices but when it comes to just selling gold kind of like for scrap weight or something like that and you're just trying to get the value for the gold hey that's a great way to go go for auctions auctions on gold jewelry has always been a hit for me and it always does real well and keep in mind that dhf calculator is a very good thing to use so look for that app i'm not a promoter i don't get any money for talking about that app or anything like that um, it's just a good app to use all right so i'm going to get these items and take them to the post office now uh, that's all that i have it's a short video I am going to add a little clip. We have palm trees all around us. And I thought if you've never seen how a palm tree gets trimmed, because palm trees do get trimmed or they grow and they get this big, massive uh, mess around them. But we have palm trees that get trimmed. And I thought I would add that little clip to the end. So you can stick around and watch that if you want to. And to all the resellers out there, find it, sell it, profit. To everyone else, take care, be safe and have a great day. Be kind to one another. So I just heard a chainsaw out behind my place and they're cutting down the palm tree leaves and I thought I'd show you how they trim the palm trees. There's a guy up there tethered with a rope using the chainsaw and that's what he's doing. He's cutting down the palm tree leaves, trimming them up. You can see the one next to him is where it's trimmed up at and the ones around it. No idea for my car to be parked down there. Next house done. Ooh. This is well, he knows he's on camera because he just waved. Getting ready to send down. Not something I would want to do. Uh-uh. 